guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm a knucklehead and forgot to film an intro and an outro. So you get to see this lovely photo of me. Yes, we are doing a Jack Skellington and Sally makeup combination of them stitched together. This is inspired by the great Made You Look. And yeah, so we're just going to do this tutorial here for day 12 because this was a highly requested video. So here we are. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a big thumbs up, share it if you want to. You know what? I love it when you do and it really helps me out. And if you hit the bell, you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. All right, guys, let's roll right into this tutorial. So I'm just dipping into the lightest shade of blue and the white together on a, this is just an e.l.f. foundation brush. And I am dipping that, dipping that in my Miron paint palette. And I'm just going to go right down the center of my face and over wherever the Sally side is. I'm not worried about blocking out my brows today. You can totally do that if you want to. We already know I'm not the best at that. You may have to layer this a couple times to get an even coat. And then with another clean foundation brush, we're just going to go straight into white and then paint Jack's face. So now that we are half Jack, half Sally, kind of, let's make this work. I'm going to be jumping into my ice cream palette by Glam Light. We're going to dip into this mint chocolate shade. 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 Sephora Pro Tapered Crease Brush and just kind of pop that on my lid. We're going to make Sally a little glammy. A little happy to be attached to Jack, her mans. That'll definitely set that paint that's on our lid as well. And just to make our eye appear a little larger, I'm just going to take a regular paintbrush, dip that into some white paint, and just make the bottom of my eye lined with white so that it looks a little wider. And then get a white pencil and do your waterline in white as well, and that'll help just create the look of your eye being a little bigger. Going back into our Glam Light ice cream palette, we're going to pick up more of that mint chocolate chip color and just kind of contour the face a little bit. Again, this will help with setting some of that paint as well. Alright, now on Jack's side, we're going to do the eye really quick. I went ahead and lined my waterline with black because we're going to black out the eye. So I'm just going to kind of, looking at a reference photo, kind of get the shape of his eye a little bit. And then just fill in that whole eye with the black paint. And taking a black shadow, you just want to set that eye so the black doesn't move. And then in pictures, it doesn't look so shiny. Then with a flat-headed brush, this happens to be an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush is just what it's called. I'm picking up some more of that black shadow. And I'm going to add some lines around the eye so that that eye itself looks more sunken in and the white is more focused up at the top. So I'm going to just start around here by the nose and just kind of start buffing that in. We don't want it too dark, we just want it to give a bit of a shadow. And again on your fluffy brush with a little bit of that black, we're just going to kind of round out our face a little bit to be more skeleton jack round. This will just help again with the illusion and trick the eye. Don't go too heavy. If you have a gray, it'll probably be better. I don't have a gray, so I'm just kind of lightly pushing in the black and then buffing it out. And just on a paintbrush, picking up some black paint, we're gonna start in the middle of the mouth and draw a line straight out to his smile.
And then we're going to add lines down to where his teeth would be. On that elf brush that we were using earlier, just grab a little bit of the black again and just dab in a little bit in each tooth. This is going to help us create a shadow. Then with a small paintbrush, we're going to go into white again and just make a line above that shadow we made. Then between the eye and the dark area that we made, we're just going to add a little bit of white just to make sure we get that pop of a highlight in there. <sighs> okay guys, sorry, I thought I was taping, but I just took a thicker paintbrush from the craft store. I dipped it into white paint and then just made stitch marks down the center. There's no rhyme or reason. You can do this any which way you want. You can do them in black, white, whatever color you feel like. I'm just gonna go over them a second time just to make sure that they do pop. We want to give our stitches a little bit of a shadow so taking this concealer brush from elf because it's nice and small i'm going to pick up a little bit of a black shadow and then from each end i'm going to go on this end here and pull in and pull in and this is going to help with the shadow and then we will add some dots here in a moment if you have any that crisscross after you do your pull you want to determine which one's going to be on the top and which one's going to be on the bottom and just add a bit of shadow over there as well. Now it looks like the one that I put on top is actually on the top. Yep. And then just go in with each one with some black paint on a paintbrush and just kind of add a dot. This is a new method for me, but I think I like my other method better. But you know how it is. Go with whatever you feel more comfortable with. For Sally's lip, I went ahead and added a Wet n Wild liquid lip. And that is a matte. I don't know the shade name because it doesn't say anywhere on here. Anyway. Hmm. But it's perfect. We're going to go back into our ice cream palette and pick up that mint chocolate shade again and this time with an elf blending brush we're gonna just pick up that shade and kind of make like this line that goes down sally's head because she's got a cut i think we'll go in a little bit of green tea as well just to make it a little more prominent And then she's got a bit of a line coming out from her mouth itself. So I'm just going to take this flat brush that I have so I can come out from my lip. And just kind of go up kind of similar to Jack's mouth. And then we're going to add the white stitches to that as well. Just do the same thing you did down your face. So now that we have the face pretty much done and complete, if you want to do like a chest piece where you're wearing both of their clothing you want to make their necks skinny because they're both very skinny wobbly headed uh, i don't know how to explain it and then you're gonna just bring her collarbone up just a little bit because you see a little bit of that from her dress and then you'll start her dress right next to that i'm gonna lay like a mustardy yellow shade and don't worry too much about coloring because we'll add a little color on top and a little shading as well and then for the sleeve, we're just going to take a green and put that right next to it. To shade the yellow, we're just going to go in with an orange body paint and just kind of put that on the edges of it. I think I want to go a little darker than this. And then to shade the sleeve, just use a darker green and just bring that around. Sally has a cut across her neck, so we're just going to take some of that green tea shade again and just make that line where she has the cut where her neck and her body meet and then just add your stitches like we did on the rest of the body. You'll also want to add some stitches where the shoulder and the shirt meet and I'm going to do that in black. 
Jack is pretty skinny, so I don't know where I want to lay his clothes. So I'm just going to kind of paint white because he does have black and white on. So this will just help lay where some of that white may sit. A picture just to see what you're doing because you're going to want to try to draw his um, bat winged bow tie thingy that he has on. So I'm going to start close to Sally's dress. And just kind of come up for the bat's head. And then the bat has like, I don't know, waves. It's probably his wings. So we'll bring the first one out and loop it. Try to bring that to like a point. And then the second one's gonna come out and loop it. And then the third one will bring down and loop it. And then I'll just kind of clean that up a little bit. Make sure it's nice and black. So for Jack's jacket and suit, we're gonna add this black line coming down. That way we have his white shirt underneath. And then we're gonna pinstripe this way black and white and then this way black and white. I've never pinstriped so we'll see how this goes. Once you have something that kind of resembles a suit, I also went and added a couple squiggly lines to the orange side because her design dress does have some elements of design in it and then I just added a black stripe going up that as well just to kind of separate her body from her dress. Now anywhere that you still have skin tone you want to black out. Again, they are skinny. They both have thin necks so we just want to make sure that that stays like that and adding the black will help trick the eye and make you think that they are both thin. All right guys, and that is that. After I finished with the painting, I took a red wig and I popped it with some pins on the side of my head to give Sally her red locks. And boom, that was it. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was super fun to do Sally and Jack. They are a favorite in my house. I hope they are also a favorite in yours. If you decide to recreate this, be sure to tag me on Twitter or Instagram. My name will be down in the description box below and somewhere here on the screen. I do enjoy seeing your recreations and I do share each and every one with my followers so they can see as well. All right, guys, thank you again so much for letting me do these 13 spooky tutorials with you. I have been enjoying each and every one and I cannot believe that tomorrow is going to be day 13. All right, guys, I hope you do enjoy yourselves and we will see you tomorrow.